Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn love reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate and if it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. All right, so we're going to use the angel answer cards and kind of get an overall energy for the reading, what may be going on in your relationships. And then we're going to get the Alice in Wonderland cards and we are going to look at what you may be struggling with um, within your relationship or within yourself. We're going to look at current energies, what you may need to look at, and then future energies as what energies may possibly be coming in for you. If you are interested in any of the cards that I'm using, there are links down below along with some other links you may be interested in. All right. We have let go. Okay. Let go. It could be let go of an X energy. It could be that maybe you and your partner are butting heads about something and that it's something that you have to let go. It could be something that you're holding on to, some energies that you're holding on to that you need to let go of, right? Because is that, looking at, is that, what good is that doing you by holding on to things, right? Holding on to negative energy. All right, definitely what you may be struggling with, we have the Nine of Swords, okay? Stressing about, keeping up at night, worrying about. We have the star card, right? Maybe you're not feeling hopeful. Maybe you're not feeling positive, that you're not in positive energy because you are worrying about things. You're stressing about things. We have Ace of Wands. I feel like maybe there's something, you know, I feel like this Ace of Wands could be that let go. Maybe there's something new that you want to have happen. Maybe you know that it's time to let go. Maybe you're just... You know, you're, you're worrying about, well, if I let go, then that's going to bring on some big change. And you've, you're like, oh, I don't know if I want big change, right? That's not making you feel comfortable. Change, change can be scary. All right, current energies, we have the King of Swords where it's Humpty Dumpty is sitting on the wall and he's just kind of thinking about things, right? He looks like he's deep in thought. He's got his sword there. He's got his book Right? He's just taking his time out, processing things. We have the wheel, change. We have the emperor. I feel like it's coming into your own power within yourself. That also could be Aries. Coming into your own power, we have the star, which is Aquarius. Future energies, we have the five of wands. We have the ten of swords. Uh-oh, look at Humpty Dumpty broke into a bunch of pieces. He fell off his wall, fell off his high horse, maybe. <laughs> and then we have Seven of Pentacles. And then bottom of the deck, we have Eight of Wands. Shake up. I feel like there's a shake up. I feel like, but I feel like it's you. I feel like... I feel like you want some big change within a relationship. I, I, I feel like the energy that I'm getting is that you want to move on from a relationship. This could be a partnership. This could be a friendship. This could be a business relationship. This could be a family member. This could be whatever, whatever this relationship is that you're worrying about, that you're stressing about. I feel like there's no putting it back together. I feel like sort of the damage has been done or your feelings are, sometimes we have that where we're in a relationship and we're like, you know what, I'm just not feeling the same anymore. I'm not feeling that connection. I'm not feeling that energy. I'm not feeling that this is right for me. And maybe that other person is trying and maybe you guys are trying to work on things, but I just feel like with this reading, I feel like you're just, you want change that you want to move on because I feel like with the Humpty Dumpty he's all together here but then he's kind of broken up and I feel like there's no putting it back together like with this future energy all right so let's get some more cards here I mean you have to do whatever it is you feel right but I feel like with the, when the Eight of Wands came out, I feel like it's 
that you're ready for some big change. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to move on with something. All right. You're looking towards your future and you're deciding what it is that you want to have happen and what it is that you want to do and you're looking towards the future and I feel like you're, you're thinking that you want some change, like this isn't, this isn't right for you. We have the Three of Pentacles. It's something that you're going to have to work on towards that future, right? If it could be that if you want to work on this relationship, like I was saying before, that there may be some things that you're holding on to that you have to let go of within the relationship. So, so now I'm st starting to get a couple, I'm starting to get this first line here. I feel like it's somebody who wants to walk away from a relationship because you're not feeling fulfilled. Now with these two cards coming out here, let's pull out another one. Look at that. We have two nine of swords in that what you're struggling with. You're definitely stressing about something. You're stressing about, do I want to work on the relationship? Do I see a future with this person? Where do I go from here? Is this, is this the relationship that I want to be in? Is this where I want to be? What is my ten of cups? What makes me happy? And that could be what you're thinking about is what makes you happy. And it could be that if you, are, you want to work on this relationship, what are those things that you have to let go of? Are you holding on to things? Sometimes, like I've said before, like, if somebody does something that bothers us and then we say that we're fine with it, but we're really not, we're still holding on to that because we want to throw that back in their face later, right? That that's not a good thing. If we say, if we've told someone that we've moved on from it, but we still have that nagging feeling in the back of our, you know, in our head that we're still running through that and we're still thinking about that, we have to find that way to let that go because that will create that wedge within the relationship and that will create that fr that friction but I also feel like there's someone that's questioning the relationship and if they want to put the work into it and if they want to make it happen and putting that dedication and that hard work in that relationship I feel like you're questioning that we have the king of pentacles and the king of wands I feel like it's 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 you looking within to find those answers wow look at that three kings I don't think I've, I've had two kings come out before, but I've never had three kings in a row here. I feel like it's coming into that strength and that power. What is it that you want to do? What is it that you're feeling, right? What is it that you want to work on? You have a lot going on. There's a lot going on, especially with the two nine of swords there. There's a lot going on for you. You're stressing and you're worrying about a lot. Something that you have to let go of. That's perfect with the uh, death card there because there's something that you're holding on to that is preventing you from change, that is preventing you from moving forward, that is preventing you. It's, it's, it's like there's this something is pulling you back and that's what you have to let go of, whatever that represents for you. What is holding you back? Maybe you're not even sure what's holding you back within this relationship. Look at that. We have the Eight of Wands again. What is holding you back? And then move forward. And then to move forward. Interesting. Bottom of the deck. Four of Cups. An opportunity for change to come in for you. That's what I feel like. I feel like you were kind of going along... And this Nine of Swords was building up and building up. And then all of a sudden, it's kind of come into this, this energy here where you're like, I'm ready for change. I've been thinking about it. Having that Emperor, right? We have the Emperor right here. So this energy here is a lot of male energy, like male energy right there, right? That power and that doing thinking because the king of king of wands is somebody who kind of looks at the past analyzes things he's very smart he's very wise thinks about those things and learns from those and say i don't want to make the same mistake again king of cups is somebody who obviously cups is emotions those feelings somebody king of cups is somebody who lets things go right he goes with the flow things are easy 
like he doesn't worry about things. Sometimes he can be a little too aloof, you know, not really focusing. I feel like this King of Pentacles, when I'm looking at that, I feel like he may be somebody who holds, his on, holds on to grudges, somebody who can be stubborn. They all can be stubborn, right? Um, maybe that's something that you have to look at, you know, within yourself too. That you have to let go of something because it's holding you back. I feel like just taking a break. Maybe you just need, you just need a break. Just sort through how you feel because maybe you're going back and forth with something. You're like, I don't know. Do I stay? Do I go? Do I want to work on this? Maybe you don't even know what it is that you want. Maybe you're having these feelings and you're stressing about things and you're like, I can't stay in this energy anymore, so I have to figure out what is the direction that I want to go in. You have to figure out what you want first before you can take action to move forward and do it. If you're not really sure what you want to do, then you're going to be all over the place, right? You're going to be like all of these cards just fighting and going back and forth. You know, you're going to be all over the place. Like Humpty Dumpty here is all over the place. And Seven of Pentacles is kind of you're taking a stop. You're stopping and you're taking a break and you're like kind of trying to sort everything out. So that could be this future energy here is you're like, I just need to stop. I need to get off this wheel and I need to figure out what direction do I want to go in because one minute I'm like, I want to stay. One minute I want to go. One minute I'm you know, feeling great. One minute I'm feeling horrible. So you have to figure out what you want first before you can move forward. And you have to be true to those feelings that you have. You have to be true to that first. For some reason, I'm feeling like grabbing these cards. You know me, I just like to go with the flow. It doesn't have to follow a particular pattern. And I feel like that's what tarot is. It's just kind of going with what you feel. All right. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is that slow, steady progress and that strength and that forward movement and that bear there, right? So your strength and your power. What is it that you want? What is it that you, time for you to take control of the situation and you decide, look at that. And then we have the Knight of Wands and his hand is firmly on the wand and he has all of these dragons and he's like, I'm in my own power and I'm going to figure out what it is that is most important to me and I'm going to act on it, right? That I'm not going to hide behind what it is that I'm feeling. Maybe over here you were hiding your feelings. Maybe you were hiding your emotions that you weren't being true to what you were feeling. And I feel like this here, you're coming out of the shadows and you're saying, I'm not going to hide my feelings anymore. I'm not going to not feel like I can express myself, right? That I can voice my opinion. Maybe that's what you're feeling within this relationship. You're not going to hide in the shadows anymore. Or if there's something that's bothering you that you haven't spoken to this person about you, like it's time to bring this to the forefront and we have to work through this. If you want to move forward on this four of cups, again, that was the final card for that. Looking at the opportunity, there's an opportunity that's coming in for you to work through this. There's an opportunity coming in for you. Oh, I love it. The ace of cups. So that could be working on this relationship, right? That could be a reconciliation of this relationship or new relationships. It could be the relationship with yourself that you're feeling. Okay. I know what I'm feeling. I know what I want. I know where I want to go, right? And then moving forward with the death card there. So you're letting go of these two nine of swords back here. And you're moving forward with this ace of cups. Look at that. Bottom of the deck, two of cups. So it could that be that for some of you that you work on this relationship. You work on what is bothering you. You work on letting go of what you feel is holding you back within this relationship that you're voicing your opinion and you're saying how you feel, right? You're not hiding how you feel. You are expressing yourself. You're coming into your own power. So that not only work helps you within your relationship, but it helps the relationship within itself. These two could be the relationship that you have with yourself and it could be with your partner. But you have to choose what makes you happy and what is best for you and what is your ten of cups, right? Where do you see your future? What do you want to work on? What is your truth, right? Coming out and speaking your truth. All right. There we go. I feel better about that. I didn't want to leave the reading like that because I felt like it wasn't, it wasn't finished. 
whoops. All right, so this, this one just fell over. We have squirrel spirit. Believe in yourself, okay? And I feel like that definitely describes this reading as believing in yourself because I feel like that's why you have this nine of swords, two nine of swords over here and what you're struggling with is because you don't believe in yourself or you're questioning yourself or you're worrying about things or you're not really sure what it is that you want. But you want something because we have this ace of wands and this struggling energy, right? This new beginning, this new start, new actions, new way of doing things, right? Wands are actions that you want to change things up. Believing in yourself and coming into your own power and taking the opportunities to let go of what's holding you back and then moving forward. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.